Today, we're going to discuss the Ethereum name service, popularly known as ENS. Founded in 2017, the Ethereum name service's goal was simple. Replace the long-winded alphanumeric wallet address that had been confusing users for years with something simpler and easier to remember. And so ENS was born. In the years since, with the rise of Web3 in the metaverse, ENS has become so much more. Let's take a look at why that's the case. First of all, crypto addresses are long and mistakes are easy to make. Not to mention clipboard hijacking malware, but a simple .eth domain is easy to remember, taking away the risks of making mistakes. ENS supports over 109 cryptocurrencies, making it easier to transact with your favorite crypto. And as we speak more and more, wallet services and crypto exchanges are adding support for ENS domains. Besides the convenience of an easy to remember name, ENS domains are quickly becoming more and more important as the possibilities of Web3 and the metaverse become apparent. To sum it up, Web3 is the next iteration of the internet built on blockchain technology. Where Web1 was the first iteration of the internet where users could only consume content, Web2 was the second iteration where users could consume and produce content, leading to the rise of e-commerce, social media, and more. Web3 allows users to consume, produce, and own their piece of the web on a fully decentralized system. As everyone is starting to agree that Web3 is the next big thing, ENS will play an important role as the industry develops and grows. Just like the smartphone replaced the watch, camera, notepad, phone, phone book, gaming console, and so many other devices, ENS domains will become a user's identity in the world of Web3, acting as a username, wallet address, email address, instant messaging handle, website, and more. ENS domains are built on the ERC721 standard, which technically makes them NFTs or non-fungible tokens. This makes it easier to trade domains on open marketplaces such as OpenSea, X2Y2, LooksRare, and ENS Vision. Recently, there have been several high-value sales such as 000.eth, which sold for a whopping 300 ETH, and sam.eth, which sold for 100 ETH. Digits, words, and names have become popular in the ENS space, so it's no surprise that the ecosystem recently surpassed 2 million registered domains. Now let's take a look at how you can register your very own ENS domain. First off, open your browser and go to apps.ens.domains. Then click on connect in the top left corner. Choose your wallet of choice and approve the connection in your wallet. Now search for your domain and see if it's available. If it's available, you can select how long you would like to register it for, request registration, and follow the simple steps to make it yours. It's important to note that ENS only supports the letters A to Z, numbers 0 to 9, and hyphens. Certain other characters, such as emojis and different languages, aren't fully supported, but can be registered, although we wouldn't recommend sending crypto to addresses with these characters just yet. Another thing to consider is that three character domains cost $640 per year plus gas, four character domains $160 per year plus gas, and five character and longer domains $5 per year plus gas to register. 
pretty simple, right? There are some things to consider when registering your ENS domain. First of all, you need to decide if you want your real world identity linked to your blockchain transactions. If so, you can try and register your first name or something related to it. If not, you might want to consider a pseudonym, word, or another username you're comfortable with using. The process is pretty similar to how you would pick a social media username. Once you've picked and registered your domain, you need to set a resolver. Click on Details on the ENS dashboard, set Resolver, use Public Resolver, and save. Now you can add all your different wallet addresses and associate them with your ENS domain. As mentioned before, ENS supports over 109 cryptocurrencies. If the domain you're looking for isn't available, you can try and purchase it off the secondary market like OpenSea, X2Y2, Looks Rare, or ENS Vision. Currently, OpenSea and ENS Vision are the most popular platform for buying and selling ENS domains. You will have to look at the trading history, registration, expiration dates, and more when considering what to offer for a domain. And chances are you're better off registering something else instead. Now that we've covered the basics, let's take a look at why ENS domains are causing a buzz worldwide. Recently, the service surpassed 2 million registered domains after having surpassed 1 million registered domains just four months earlier, showing a massive increase in interest for ENS domains. The ENS ecosystem has over 500,000 users from across the world, showing there's decent demand for these domains. There have been several high-profile sales, including 000.eth for 300 ETH, SAM.eth for 100 ETH, and OpenSea.eth for 100 ETH. Not to mention some high bids on domains. Amazon.eth recently received a bid of 1 million in USDC, which was not accepted by the owner. Neither the current owner nor the bidder are thought to be related to Amazon. Several clubs have made a splash in the ENS scene with the 999 Club representing domains from 00.eth to 999.eth, which has skyrocketed in pricing over recent weeks with the 10K Club representing domains from 00.eth to 9999.eth, which has found decent success as well. There are also clubs dedicated to five digits, different number systems across the world, Pokemon characters, Harry Potter characters, Nurartu characters, words, first names, last names, and more. Besides all of the clubs, several celebrities and companies have gotten onto the ENS hype train. Paris Hilton, Jimmy Fallon, Chris Dixon, Vitalik Buterin, Sir Anthony Hopkins and other celebrities have embraced ENS, and companies such as Puma, Nike, Coca-Cola, Budweiser, and OpenSea have also acquired their ENS domains and started publicly using them. Alright, so we hope you enjoyed this video. Keep your eyes peeled for more content related to ENS domains and more in the near future.